It was May of 2012. I had just came down to prison after getting sentenced eight years, and I knew that I would be gone for a long time. And the biggest part of that was to know that I wouldn't get to see my son Blaine, my son Blaine Galloway. And, and, I, and I had this feeling that I would go far away, and my feelings were correct. But in May of 2012, I got a surprise visit from my grandmother and my mom. And I was so thrown off by this visit that when I, was, when I opened the door to the visitation room, I just see my mom and my grandma pointing at me, smiling. And then I look and I see this little head going above the tables of visitation and coming around the corner and straight into the hallway. It's my son, Blaine, and he's running full speed ahead. And I couldn't help but cry. And he runs straight into my arms like this and I pick him up and I spin him around and I hold him to my chest. Little did I know that that would be the last time that I'd see my son. I had hoped that, that I'd see him again before then. But I cherished every moment in that two hour visit because I knew that God was fit to take me somewhere to better myself. And I wanted to be the best man I could for Blaine. Now I tell you that because my son's birthday is fixing to come up. In three days, he will be 11 years old. And the last time I saw him, he was three. I had to watch him grow through pictures, through other, other, other resources to find out about my son. And when I got out, I had these plans to think that I could be in your life right off the jump. I said, oh yeah, man, I can't wait to see my son. I'm gonna see my son immediately. But things didn't work out that way. And after almost being out an entire year, I still haven't seen my son. And there's this one thing that I wanna let him know, because I just spent my first Christmas out of prison and it was amazing. But there was one thing missing, and that was my son. And I don't want him to think that his dad isn't trying to see him or doesn't care or doesn't love him, because I do. And so I need your help. <laughs> Anybody that if there's anything that you could ever do for me, it's share this video because somewhere in Houston, he's out here. And I just want him to know that his daddy loves him. His daddy's always thinking of you. You were the reason behind all of my change and behind the person that I am today. And the reason I, I continue to straight, follow a straight and narrow path. And then happy birthday because I know I've missed a bunch of them, but I promise I'm your number one fan and I'm gonna get to you. I love you, son. That's Blaine Michael Galloway. I love you, now chip off the old block. Thank you.